hey y'all welcome back to the channel today's video i'm going to be bringing you some valentine diys we all know valentine's day is coming up and we want to do a little decorating so just giving you a few ideas of what i did to decorate my home for valentine's day so um we're gonna go ahead and get started The first DIY I have for you guys is this um, ceramic tag. I got this from Packetans um, probably about a year ago when they were going out of business. Um, I think I got this tag for probably about a dollar, maybe two dollars. I bought all that they had in stock, uh, which was only a few. So um, today, like I said, I'm going to be doing a uh, Valentine's Day ceramic tag. And what I'm doing right here is I'm using my stencils that I have, but you can use whatever you want. If you want to make this all Dollar Tree, then you can use um, the door tags that Dollar Tree have as long, along with the stencils or stickers that Dollar Tree have. And you can do the same thing. So um, if you've seen any of my videos before, I used to be a designer for Chalk Couture and so much was going on so I am no longer a um, no longer a designer as of right now I probably will be in a future again but anywho so this is what I'm using is some of Chalk Couture's um, transfers and like I said if you don't know about that you can go back a couple of my videos I've been doing this for a little while now, so you um, you can get the whole process of what I um, what I do with these stencils, what I use, and everything on another video. But right now, I'll just let you watch what I'm doing with this. So this tag came out super cute. I really enjoyed doing this one. And it's kind of like how you do, I don't know if they call it like crossword puzzle type of, you know, thing. But yeah, it turned out super cute. And I went on ahead and hung it up on my ladder that I made. And it's on my fireplace. I still have some of my Christmas stuff on there too. DIY number two is a Valentine's book stack. You guys, this one was definitely my favorite project that I did. I've been wanting to do a book stack forever. Valentine's Day was definitely the perfect one to do. So these are all the things that I use to make my book stack. I use some um, white chalk paint and I just basically just painted all of my books front back the sides i even got like around the edges of the book so i could have a complete look with this white chalk paint chalk paint was definitely um a go-to for this because although um if you use paint you may not get to cover the most coverage that you would um want but with chalk paint it gives it that distressed look so even if you do mess up a little bit it's distressed and no one will notice because everyone thinks that you're going for that distressed look so that's what i really love about chalk paint so um again what i'm doing here is painting all three of my books that i have um in the out on the outside and around the edges as well and you will see a little bit of the words my suggestion to you is to sand down as much as you can um the words on the side of the book i also went back and i did another coat of uh, paint on some of the books because you could still see the black and the blue so if you need to do that then just go ahead and add that extra coat of paint as well So now I am going to 
add on um, my stencils again that I use and I want to put those on the book I decided to use a um, a red heart on the front of the book but before I do that with these stencils we have to use um, wax and we use the wax so that the stencil doesn't stick to the paint that I just put down there the only regret that I had with using the wax is I didn't let my paint dry well enough because I was rushing trying to get this video done as we all do and so my book end up <laughs> You end up seeing like it looks gray, but it's the black showing through from my book for me um painting. But it ended up looking super cute. It looks it brings more to the distress the, the look that I that I'm going for in my home. But yeah, so um there you go. I'm showing you the stencils that I end up using, same ones I used in the last project, and I use a burnout ribbon to go around the top of the book. And a red glitter ribbon, which I freaking love. This red glitter ribbon is so cute. And I just wrapped it around um, the burlap ribbon. Just to give it a little color, pop of color for the book. And then I end up tying some juice string into a cute bow and adding a key. Adding the, ju um, the juice string bow and the key... I mean it just it just put this book stack like on top so So yeah, this turned out super cute, y'all. I really enjoy making this, and I finally getting it done, and it turned out cute. So uh, DIY number three. I really don't know what to call this, but we're just gonna call it a door sign. So we're gonna use a piece of pen that we got from Dollar Tree and a calendar. The piece of pen that I have right here, I did a DIY before with a um a tear tray and it came off so I was like oh, okay I need a I needed a pan I'm just gonna reuse what I have and that's what I did I had um chalk painted it distressed it a little bit with um black ink um paint and so it ended up looking really cute I thought it goes really well with the farmhouse theme just leaving it the way it is and cutting around um, the calendar print and and we're just gonna glue that baby on there and you're gonna see what I want to do with this I'm sure you guys probably have seen this um, this DIY plenty of times before and this is another one of my favorites so I don't know which is my favorite I don't know if it's this or it's the book stack but both of those are definitely my favorite too of the, of the um, DIYs that I did in this video. So you're gonna take your Mod Podge, you're going to put it all over your um, your pan, and then you're gonna take your, um, your pitcher or whatever and you're gonna smooth it out on there. I will say using my posh does give you some creases, and but I don't mind it too much. I don't know what it is about sometimes I don't like things to be super perfect. And um, it's not perfect. I love it the way that it is. But I'm gonna take the my posh and I'm going to put it on the top of it as well. And it just gives it a different shine so you don't have like that calendar dull kind of like shine that gives you this gives you more i think the my posh i used was a matte but it gives you more of a matte but kind of gloss i don't know but it doesn't give you a calendar gloss if that makes sense so that's what i did so it doubles as a, a different type of shine and um a hold to your um to your project and so then you're going to take your jute string um and i got this from dollar tree 
and uh, we're gonna go ahead and glue that down to your pan and then voila and that's what you have and I made a few of these for other people okay DIY number four this DIY um, is a plaque or a sign whatever you want to call it but I made this sign out of a um, kind of like a, a plant hanger that I had before and I took the strings off of it I um, closed in the holes that was on there and I um, painted it with truffle um, chalk paint and the, um, the white chalk paint and kind of distressed it all over for whatever reason I didn't get the video of that and I'm so sorry you guys but that is what I did all I did was reuse things I already had in this video and so um, I used another stencil put hearts in it and then I'm going to use another stencil that says welcome and I'm going to do that in white I think this turned out super cute as well it is definitely very well valentine welcoming okay so um and i'm going to put this in my kitchen along with my other diys that i um that i'm doing in this video today this just turned out super cute y'all okay the eye number five i got this banner sign from i think it was target or it might have been packetans as well but i didn't pay nothing for a couple dollars but they do have these same ones at dollar tree if you can find them um all i did was take some acrylic paint and painted them red on the back side they're just plain um, like the um, that fake wood so I just painted it on red acrylic paint on on this side and then I took one of Dollar Tree's chalk markers in white and wrote our last names on them I will say that the um, Dollar General's chalk uh, markers do work really well you do have to shake them up pretty well and sometimes you may have to go over your letters um, or whatever you write in a few times but if you shake it really well and kind of like what I did was like the tip of it I would like beat it on a surface for a while and a lot of the paint will start coming down to the tip so I had to do that a few times just so I can get the um, the ink to come out better get yeah, the ink for the marker to come out um better but all in all it does work pretty well and i've used this quite a few times and it um it does hold up So I'm going to use some juice string and then I'm going to just string it through this um, this banner and then once I finish doing that I'll go ahead and get some of my um, ribbon and tie the ribbons on the end and then we're just going to hang it up above my fireplace
So all I'm doing here is um, cutting my uh, my ribbon to size. Um, I did about six in red and six in uh, white. So three of each ribbon color on each side of um, my banner. And that's what I did here. And I just tied it in the little knot, bow, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Add some, maybe some hearts to it to make it look a little more Valentine's I I think that's what I'm going to end up doing with that. And, or like, you can add like some cute little stickers with some sands on it. Whatever your heart is um, content with. And that's it for this um, DIY. Just really simple and easy and cute. And I don't know. I love my last name. So I just wanted to, you know, brandish it a little bit. <laughs> But it turned this was really simple and easy and really cute. Like I said, you could all of these DIYs you can do the same things I did, but with just um Dollar Tree stuff. But a lot of things that I use I already had on hand and I just um decided to use what I have to um to make my stuff. But again, a lot of it you can use um Dollar Tree things as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was so good to get back on here and do some diys with you guys today and um just come back and um subscribe to our channel like these videos and um comment below what you think is your favorite diy and let me know what you guys want to see in the new videos to come all right thanks again you guys and i'll see you in the next video